I wasted the morning drinking coffee and dicking around with small projects, so I've got a lot to crunch into the afternoon. I'm headed into Red Deer. I'm gonna go and hit up the old skate shop. I need some new shorts. After the skate shop, I'm gonna head over and see uh, my buddy. He's got the barbecue truck. That's the Craddy Shack. So Aaron started his new barbecue food truck this year, more like a food trailer. He's serving Southern Barbecue in Red Deer, Alberta. Awesome food, guy's a great chef. Awesome pit master, makes great meals, sandwiches, ribs. It's exactly what you would expect from Southern Barbecue. After that, I've got an appointment at the airport. Let's get moving and get the AC back on. So I got my pair of shorts. $70 for one pair, was pretty pumped about that price. It's insane, it's a half a pair of pants. But I guess that's the price you pay for, you know, shorts. Pretty excited, pretty excited for some lunch. I didn't eat breakfast just for the reason that I knew I was coming here. Welcome to Credit Show. Shack and Aaron's got his new brisket stacker. Normally, I guess he does it with pulled pork. 1.35 in the afternoon and they're already sold out of pulled pork. When this truck opens, you get here quick. I've been told I need a fork. Probably gonna be best to have the napkin as well. He's got these awesome picnic benches so you can sit down, enjoy some barbecue. It's awesome to see how busy these guys are as a local business and a new food truck this year for 2023. If you get these by themselves, try it out. He's got homemade pickles. Makes them fresh. Cornbread's made fresh. Coleslaw's made fresh. Brisket, fresh. Everything is homemade and done from scratch. So if you don't see them at PV Mart, you gotta check them out at Food Truck Fridays in Red Deer for as long as that goes. It's part of the summer. And what's Southern barbecue without cornbread? In this city, Red Deer, it's been amazing. It's kind of the hole in the wall. Little gems, you find them. He left the oil field to start this truck. Good on you, Aaron. So my best suggestion is that you get on Facebook, Instagram, follow the Craddy Shack. He updates daily. He's getting scheduled up for some catering events as well. So if you've got something big coming and you need Southern barbecue, contact Aaron at the Craddy Shack. Oh, and I forgot to mention the sauces, homemade. We're gonna finish this off in our next stop, airport. That was an awesome lunch. Cornbread stacker, what a great idea. Cornbread under brisket with coleslaw. It's like a brisket sandwich, but in a box with cornbread on the bottom. So we're out here at the Red Deer Regional Airport, Buffalo Airways. I'm getting some awesome photos of the DC-3s and the Electras. These are all built off of restoration only. Uh, Buffalo goes out of their way to make sure that they pick up as many used parts as possible, just to make sure these things can stay in the air. Awesome, absolutely cool antique planes. And they fly sometimes better than even the new stuff nowadays. So if that wasn't cool, I don't know what is. The airport's always kind of a place where I feel like a total kid when I see airplanes. And the ones I was taking photos of today, they're wrecks that are being salvaged for restoration of planes. Aviation is just such a cool thing. And to see these relics in person and stand that close to them knowing the miles they've flown. We think of aviation as a lot of passenger planes and going on a trip or a vacation, hitting up Mexico, fly to Toronto, business class. It's planes like these ones that we forget about that carry the cargo to many places that don't have access by normal vehicle. The Northwest Territories is a great example. If you lived up there and you can't get anything from FedEx or Amazon, which these guys make it possible. There are a lot more goods transported on planes than there are people. And I think we don't ever really think about that. It's pretty freaking sweet. Oh yeah, they carry water too, and put out fires. Those guys are rocking it right now in Alberta. So I'm hoping to come back here in August when the fires are put out and these planes come back for rebuild and repair. We're gonna get some sweet shots of water bombers, I'm hoping. I'm gonna say that's the end of the day. I'm gonna go and start editing some photos, chill for a bit, get a water, it's freaking hot. 
the car says 37 degrees Celsius. We'll see you on the next one.